Hello everybody and welcome back to Satisfactory 1.0. I'm Drawing Chaos and welcome back to the base. On the last episode, I built power. Lots of power. As you can see in the distance, especially if I zoom in, uh, we built all these nice power towers and then we built power tower bottoms. And yeah, those are going around the base or around the map. I got myself some geyser power and then up here in the Spire Coast, this nice little area over here, I built a huge power plant. And today, I will be designing that power plant. So this is all going to be design heavy. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So if you do not care about design, then feel free to skip this episode. That's fine. I completely understand. I mean, it's just the whole thing about my channel. Uh, but yeah, that's up to you. If you don't care about design, that's great. Uh, you like to see big numbers or big factories. Go for it, no problem. But before we start, there is a couple things I want to take care of. Ooh, hello ma'am. There are, what is it, Katerium? Katerium, yes. There are three things I want to get. So power pole mark three. I want to get this power switch over here. Wait, did I add the power switch over here? And then the priority power switches. Which will be really easy because all I have to do is go in and go, let's see, high speed connectors. There we go. And then steel. We get some steel beams, steel pipes, and then we'll go with some quick wire. We got the quick wire and then AI limiters. Bam. There we go. And then we can throw away these empty containers or canisters because they are trash. And that doesn't need to go in there either. All right, uh, so let's unlock things real quickly. So we got the priority power switches. Start research. Julio, Julio, and then we'll unlock this. Priority power switch unlocked. Boom. This assists and with power we'll grid management well. by automatically powering down specified connections when a grid Boom. failure is imminent. Use it to prioritize power for the most important infrastructure. Power switch unlocked. Fix it is proud to announce that the power switch facilitates power grid management through the application of the very latest That's nice. Fix it. All right. Anywho, so there is that. And as well as that, there is, I want to take my Mercer spheres. All right. I want to go into alien technologies and I want to see if I can upgrade to 120 as well as an expansion because this will give me plenty more things but to do that i need more sam fluctuator which i have automated which is great so we'll just grab uh i'll we'll just grab all of you i don't know how many i'll need but i have it automated so it doesn't matter all right so what do we do upgraded speed or domain expansion go What's up, Beta? Tell me all about it. Dimensional expansion increased to 400%. Parts can now be stored as elementary particles in a hyper-dense deconfined state. Normally, I'd explain the basic science, but I don't think this one can be simplified enough for you to understand. We composed a growth song, but you composed a shrink song, so we remain silent. The dance of your bones and organs and veins amuses us. I understand. Seeing the pioneer perform tasks also amuses me. <laughs> yeah. I did not do a shrink song. I don't know what to tell you, man. It was all growth song over here. Ada was the shrink song. Always with her back seating. What else do we do? One! One Mercer Sphere? Really? Um. Uh, do I, where's my iPad thing? Um, object scanner? Object scanner. Uh, maybe I'll get lucky and there'll be like something close and I don't need that whatever let's see if I can find a uh, Mercer sphere am I even close to one I'm gonna go find one real quick and get this unlocked before we begin because we are going to need it <laughs> hey look I found one and it's not too far away from the base so we can just fly our way back. 
Live, laugh, consume. You know, I gotta say from up here, the base looks pretty majestic. Oh, there we go. All right, alien technologies. Let's go back and upgrade this one. Ada, tell me what's up. Dimensional upload speed increased. The dimensional shift now no longer cares how complex the components of the original part are and will save each part as a single collection of particles that can be instanced easily. Groveship the body cord flow cycle song of the five layer shallow state. I'm working on it, but are you saying there is another layer? Is it a sensor limitation? Deepen. Oh, helpful. Deepen. Yeah, Pentagon's the hexagon. Do you know how it goes? Now, there's one more thing I need, and that is to see how many coupons we have. 30. That puts us up to 82. And let's see, is there any other thing that I want to get? So I want to make sure I have all the building materials of life before I continue. Foundations are good. Customizer. Okay, this one and this one. And then organization. Nope. And management. Oh, yes. This one. Okay. So let us use 13. Perfect. And then we'll get all the boombox and stuff like that next episode. You know, once we're done. As I, you know what, at the end of this episode, as a token to ourselves, we'll get this. All right, all right, let me put the rest of my tickets back in. How many do I have left? <laughs> nice. Okay, let's head our way over to the power plant and get to work. We've wasted enough time as it is. Because I don't know how long this video is going to be. You do, because you can see it, but I'm just going to be doing until it's done. When I feel it's finished, that's when the video will be over. Though I won't be adding every single building thing in there. I'll be cutting out some stuff. I at least want to make sure that you get the general idea of how I'm building. Because I know some people actually miss that. Alright, we're here. We're ready to begin. And one of the first things I want to do is I want to go over to Unpainted. I want to make everything unpainted. Because I don't know what color I want to go for some of this stuff. But right now we're going to keep it like that. And then we'll go into materials and we're going to go with coated concrete foundations. Yes. I'm going to make the floor around the outside nice and shiny. And ooh, the only thing I don't like about it is the fact that it is um, uh, so dark when it's unpainted. I mean, is concrete really this dark? Who knows? Also, I have this right here where each one of them is kind of cut into their own little five sections. So you have five foundation by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so I have a five by eight that I can just switch over to uh, something else. All right, next up, I'm going to press G so it gets my basically copy tool. So I can delete all these foundations in the center. I'm thinking, what if I have the glass up top? What if I did the glass all the way across here? I think that would look really cool for the floor. Really get to see all the, uh, what's his nuts? There we go. And then we'll just zoop that across. And then it kind of like, yeah, we get to see like the water. Although, actually, I'm going to probably have to have this right here. So it'll just be in front of these and you can see down through it so you can see the water. Yeah, let me build out some of this stuff, everything, and get that going. All right, next up, I have this. All it is is a pillar in the center with metal pillars on the side. All right, because I need to get the undersiding done. I went with a nice double ramp going down here into the center. And then I started putting these pillars in the middle. I also deleted that big uh, concrete section and replaced it with, what are these called? Uh, grip metal foundation. And I'm thinking the, the, like the underside looks really good now. Really shiny and everything like that. Ooh. 
Because I'm like, I'm wondering, should I have blocked this off or should I just keep it open like that? And I think keeping it open was the way to go. And then next up for right now, we'll go to materials and we'll make this coated just like the other one. There we go. Kind of keep the theme going. Ooh. Oh, this is going to be a pain in the butt. Oh, okay. How am I going to get all these? Can I? Oh, lordy. Eh. Oh, well, yeah, that's that. <laughs> scooting my way downtown. Check this out. <laughs> I didn't know I could scoot this far down. I'm not as young as I used to be. All right. So I tried building these on the side. I don't like them. <laughs> Is it? I don't know why, but like having this on the side, I, it, it puts it out a little, just a little too far. And then on the other side, it just causes clipping too much. So I tried it out. I, I looked at it and I am going to just get rid of it. Maybe just leave it the way it is for right now and then just worry about if I'm going to put anything extra on it later. Uh, I did extend this out though. Whee! So, alright, let's get rid of you too. So I did extend this out. I put a ramp on the bottom. I put just a four meter foundation on the edges. Because I'm thinking I want this to be... I want a pillar. All right, I blueprinted this pillar, seven tall. It's got the rounded edges on here. Let's see what this looks like. Actually, that's not too bad. Uh. All right, went up 30. So that's perfectly cut in half, which gives us a... Ooh, that works perfectly for this level. Oh, and I coded this level as I was going. Nothing too special. I just changed it up just like I did on the other one. All right, but this. OK, OK, but then next we're going to have to figure out the wall. All right, so. All right. Ooh, this one might be a little expansive, too. I had a far concrete. That shouldn't be too bad. Maybe I'll put these out there before I delete those. It's easier to see with that, but yeah. The only thing I don't like on this is the Z fighting. Or is this like X fighting or white fight Y fighting? This is Y fighting. <laughs> well, the Y fighting in this place is horrible. Uh, maybe I'll fix that when I put the wall in. All right, I got to figure out a wall too. You know what? Let me clear the blueprint machine and let me build a wall. This is a blueprint mark two, which is great because there's five foundations in between each one of them. And this gives us five foundations. So let's clear the blueprint designer. And then we need to build something here. But our frame of reference, just so we know exactly what it is, we're going to build this vertical. And we'll go up to there. So seven high, and then we got to build basically a wall over. So what do you think? Too much detail? Not enough detail. <laughs> this is what I'm thinking for doing on the bottom part right here. I have the same thing on each side. I went with a half foundation and then just kind of put these over together like that. Ooh, and then of course some nice copper pipes in the center with some caterium finish. Oh, and get this. So I don't know if they got rid of this, but you used to be able to build this right here and then have a cutout. You can't no more. The only way is by pressing H and then moving it over like maybe one tick or maybe control like half a tick or whatever. So yeah, that is really annoying because being able to do that kind of stuff, you could make some cool like really awesome window designs and the fact that they got rid of that I am kind of upset and I don't know if they did it on purpose because people were abusing it but you know it's a single player game who cares all right blueprint all right oh 
Wait, will that work out perfectly? Oh, all right, let's bring it back. Maybe we'll put it in the middle of this. So in the middle. Oh, it goes through the floor. All right, let's build that. See how it looks. <laughs> I love when that stuff builds. It looks amazing. Okay, from the inside. Good, good. Inside looks good. I hate the I hate the Wi-Fi. Terrible Wi-Fi in this place. Um, and then we'll go down. Let's look at the bottom. Okay, the fact that these go through the floor pretty good. Like they they like they fit perfectly with the centerpiece. All right, plenty of room to walk. Not bad, not bad. Let us check the outside. Oh God, no. No, it's the foundations. Oh. Dang it. Wait, I have, wait, I wanna try something. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold the phone. We might be able to salvage this. There we go. Okay. All right, that's too far out. Let's bring this in. What if we go right here to the edge of this? Okay, building, 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 building. Boom. Okay. Good news, bad news. Good news is we have no X fighting or Y fighting. I forget which angle I'm looking at. Bad news is less depth. See, let's zoom in, zoom her in on this. See, the nice thing about that is it had layers of depth that was going to it. This one takes away a little bit of that, but also makes it look better. You know, I'm thinking we're gonna keep this one and then we'll go across the whole bottom with this and see how it looks when it's a full pattern. Okay, I gotta say, as a pattern, it's not bad. The other side is a lot easier to look at. We'll go over there. We'll jump around. Jump around. Jump up, jump up, and get down. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see it. Oh, oh run out of fuel. Okay, so that's the first floor. So the next floor, we're going to do similar to the last thing that we did, where we had to recoat the floor in plastic. And no, I didn't make this walkable, because why would I? I mean, I'm only in the middle of designing it over and over again, jumping up and down and whatnot. Uh, and then the other thing is I have these on here, but if I do what I did down here, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this, uh, half foundation. No, half foundation. Why was that half foundation? Put you there. Put you there. And then, come on, can I get the bottom one? Precision's fun. And then all I gotta do is aim right here, zoop it across, and then we'll get you metal. And then this one right here. Zoop it across. And then I can get the top. Can I get the top one? Oh, so difficult. Bam. And that'll be like the pattern that we go around it. Now all I got to do is go to materials coated and we're going to coat the top of this and we're gonna go all around like we did on the other one also on the top one too because yeah so this is how i build this is what i think about i'm going around and i'm like i'm coding this right now and i'm thinking okay what do i do with this area am i gonna do this with it i can do that yeah my brain's running a mile a minute all right new issue uh so yeah i didn't have these completely flat underneath here I kind of wanted it extra so all the smoke can generally look like it's just going to come down and kind of go over. 
So I'm wondering, what do you think about this? Material? We just go like the rest of it and kind of together like that. Because if I just do this one and this one, uh, then what happens is these two have clipping and this one kind of goes on the top and you get more of that like uh, Z fighting on top. But if it's all the same material, it kind of merges together to where you don't really notice it. That's what I'm thinking. And then also while I'm down here, what I do is I like to go and just connect this all the way across like this. And then get my nice little cross beams. And then of course we'll get the center like this. And there we go. All right, now for the next floor and probably the one after it, I need a new wall. See, this wall looks great, but I feel like if I had it multiple like heights, that we're gonna have an issue. So I was designing another wall. Let me load it up and see what you think. There we go. Fuel wall mark two. So it takes away all the bottom ones, gives us into two little pretty pictures, and then gives us these like side ones together. These ones going up this way, these ones going up that way. All right, let's try this out over there and see what it looks like. By the way, the interior of this now looks freaking amazing. And I half want to attempt to just leave it where you can walk on the side. And I half want to attempt to put like, uh, what's it called? Architecture to put uh, like some of these catwalks in here. So you can basically stand a little bit higher up. What do you guys think? Leave it as is or go for catwalks? All right, first step, we're going to take this blueprint and we're going to move it over hall. Okay, there we go. Next, we're going to grab our wall, jump on here if I can. Come on, there we go. Press H to hold. Oh, liner up. Ooh. These ones on the side, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. It does look nice. I got to admit that. I do like it. All right. And then, I don't know. I could just kind of delete them or leave them. All right, let's check upstairs and see what it looks like up there. Oh, that looks so cool. And then you can look out the window and you won't like fall into this little gap right here. Although I could always kind of like just put something in between here. Could do something like that and it shouldn't. It should not. It shouldn't. Please don't. And okay. It doesn't flag it like the other one flagged it when it was up against it, but that looks pretty good. I like it. Might have to get rid of this one and this one. But other than that, not too bad. Not too bad. I like it. All right, thought I'd do some more windows. This should be fun. Behold, the power of walls. <laughs> it looks pretty good. I, I gotta say, I do like it. The pattern didn't didn't get too overwhelming. And I just left these back over here just in case. I don't know. I'll take a look at them later and see if I hate it. All right, so there we go. That's what it looks like. Totally done. Now, I haven't worked any of the fuel section just yet. I'm going to save that for last. I want to work the main body first. And speaking of which, it's time to work on this back part. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. There we go. Oh. Whew. You know, when I was playing and I've played the game for so long that I was actually using like creative mode and flying and whatnot, I miss that. But for you guys, I'm doing vanilla, all vanilla. And by the way, blueprints are the MVP of this episode. <laughs> Next up, I want to make this area flush. Like I want it to fit together. So what I'm thinking is check this out. Uh, let's go into foundations. What if we did a, a ramp? Okay, I don't know. I know nothing special. And 
We'll zoop it down. We'll zoop this one. Oh, wait, that's the wrong way. We'll zoop this one down, and then we'll... And then how much... Oh, I don't have enough spell. Hold on. And then we'll switch this one to this, and we'll take away zoop and default. There we go. And then what we do is we... See how if I aim in here, it's going that way? Well, I aim this and there. And then this one can do the same thing. And voila, we have a full foundation going at two meters. We have a full foundation going at four meters. And then we have a full foundation going at eight meters. Stops right here. And then we can do. What are we going to do? What if I took two meter here? And then we'll just do two meter here. Oh, and then we can take this. How do you fit? Come on. All right, zoop you down. Hmm. We gotta switch it to a one meter. Oh, uh, you know what? Let's take this. Maybe we switch this over to a one meter. Then it would fit perfectly. Something like that. And then all I would have to do is bring you down. Bring you down. Uh, jump on the back side. Bring it down. Oh, and get in there and bring this one down. There we go. Something like that. And then we just gotta do, bring some stuff over. Here's what I'm thinking. Architecture. We'll go with the one meter one and we'll switch it over to glass. There we go. And we'll just zoop that all the way across. There we go. And that'll help me build the other side easily enough. Oh, is that like perfect? Oh, that is perfect. Nice. Oh, and then one meter. Oh, man, it fits perfectly flush with that. <laughs> nice. I love that. And then we'll build something going off the other side. And then probably... We'll do the same thing for this one, and for this one, we'll build that again over here. And then I think that should hold it, or look like it's holding it. And the only other thing is, I kind of want something to look like it's holding up the center part. And I don't really have much room with pipes going over here. But what if, what if we grab Mr. Concrete Pillar over here? Is there any room? Over here. Ah, perfect. Oh, You know what? Yeah, let's just go all the way up like that. Come on. All the way up like that. Something like that. And then... Oh, there we go. We'll do like a copper finish on both of these. Oh, how did you get that? And then what we can do is default and then where's this? Default, default and foundations all the way down this one. Switch over to coded because that's the theme. Default, default, default and default. There we go. And then something like this, like an observation desk, almost. There we go, that should be fun. Ow. Let me get to building. Alright, I gotta say, with the awning and everything on it, it looks pretty good. But now, well, now's the time I gotta figure out what the hell to do on this back part. Um, yeah foundations what if i do i'm curious where is it i i did this a couple times in some of my other builds i don't want to reuse stuff but um what if i go vertical down here do that on the other side something like that and then this is gonna go flat maybe vertical down like that Oh, 
Or what if... I mean, that could be a thing, right? I don't know. Because I don't really want to hide these pipes, but I also have to put, like, a wall or something back here. And, like, I could put, like, a like a round awning, like you kind of see at, uh, like, Grand Central Station. But I think the water should just stay out. What's the worst that's going to happen to get wet? It's surrounded by water. It's crazy. Hmm. So, yeah. What is a person to do? See, th this is this is the problem when you get stuck in like one section and you're just like, I'm going to have to mull it over. Give me a s oh. What it? What if I build something straight up? Hold on. Like, what if we're going to go like here? Okay. We'll go vertical like that. Vertically challenge. We'll do the shame on your side. And then I could build like glass walls going on the back, similar to how I did the walls on the other side. Oh, you know what'd be cool? You, you know it'd be super cool? What if organization no walls, walls, walls. So let's zoop this up and then H to hold. One, two, three, four. And we'll go over. Or zoop you up like this. And then we'll get something like Logistix. Pipeline wall hole. One. One, two, one, two. Get rid of a couple of these. Grab you. That one, auto can work. And then something like that, and then these can come over. And then, what if I was to make chains? Oh, and then you know what I could do? Oh, this would be so sweet. I could take, like, a tilted wall. Have that come down here. And then have the chains kind of coming down here and look like they're hooked onto it, like they're pulling it. Oh, that would be so cool. Let me work on this really quick. It's... It's... Difficult slash easy slash annoying. Oh, and by the way... Uh, just for some people to know. So you can put these right on here, okay? And originally what you did was you went to architecture, you went to like a beam, and then you chose where you wanted the beam, and then you press R, that'll get you diagonal mode, and you make sure it's flush. So not up, but like kind of down, like right in there. Now, originally what you could do is you could take the pipeline wall hole and aim it on here and kind of put it in there. They don't let you do that anymore. They literally fixed it a day after I had put up a video on it. So what I did was I got the pipeline wall support, aim it, H to hold, and then, nope, not down, left, no, right? Oh, we'll do right, okay. Basically just figure out the spot and then just figure out which way to go and then bam you got it so yeah let's do it over here and over here oh that's gonna look so cool that's gonna look so freaking awesome are you ready for this this took a hot minute to make but boy does that look good oh it almost looks like the chains are pulling it, and I got it in, like, the perfect spot. Whoo! Okay, okay, so yeah, I got the... I just went with, like, this kind of stuff around here. 
Uh, I ended up curving them outward, so I went this, kept the center one. These went out, and then just another one over. Kind of filled up the rest. Uh, extra double ramp supports because it's the back of the building. So I want to look like it's actually all connected. Pipes go in there. Even with the glass walls, I feel, I feel like the pipes look like they work. Oh, and then I got rid of some in the middle of these uh, half foundations so that the chains actually look like they're like they're connected in spots. So like this one looks like it's connected to this and goes around. And then these chains look like solid chains or to these ones up here look like they're connected. Didn't, oh, I'm going to die. Nope. OK. Well, at least there's always water to hit, right? <laughs> Thanks, water. I might even be able to delete this one up here. But then it might look too weak. I don't know. Let's check it. Let's see. Oh, it's fine. And then we'll connect this one. Yeah, that's not bad. Then I can go do the other one real quick. Get you. Connect you to you. And then voila. Oh, that's so cool. Now, if you notice something, I haven't added a lot of lights onto this build. I am not going to be over here all the time, so I don't think that this should be lit up too much. So I'm not going to go with a lot of lights right away, especially in builds that I can't see from my base. But so far, I am so digging how this is coming out. Uh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. enough, uh, enough orgasm over a build. Let us move to the next layer. In the worst possible way. By the way, yes. Yes, I have been going up and down this way this whole entire time. If you don't believe me, the save file will be in the Discord, and you can check out yourself that it still is not in advanced game settings. And no, mods are still not activated. <laughs> All right, on to the next floor. This one right here. So, as is tradition. Oh, no. For materials right, I'm gonna go down here I'm gonna go coating on all this stuff kind of get that around there and then it'll be time to kind of work this floor that has all the water on it although I am thinking hold on hold the phone Jebediah so what if I go right here Ariel What if... You know what? What if I cut this? Oh. Like... Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. And then just get rid of all this stuff over here. And then have this cut down. And then what I could do is I could find some like foundations and kind of attach them to these things. To look like it supports. Actually, I might even be able to shore up how it's built. Although. I, you know what? I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I like the waterfall kind of look on it. Although I could turn this backwards and have the waterfall looking outward. But, you know, no, no, let's keep it like that. But all this right here, all this wonderful stuff. This will all be deleted. Yeet it and delete it. We don't need it. Oh my god, this is going to be fun. Man, thank god the reach on this is extreme. Could you imagine if it wasn't? Da -da -da. Yay. Yep. And then we'll have this kind of go on there. Da, 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 go. Yeah, and we'll have it open like that. That'd be nice. Oh, I missed my spot. 
All right, let me build some more stuff out real quick. Give me a second. All right, it's time. So the top floor up there. All right. I am prepping for all this wonderful stuff. I was putting out those, those pillars, and then I'm like, well, this top floor, I'm not doing a full pillar. I need a half pillar. So I decided to go with this. I basically took a full pillar and then I cut it in half. I added in a little extra bit on the top for lighting and everything. I'm thinking about lighting. Then I'm like, okay, if I have a half pillar, I need a half wall. So this is what I decided to go with. I have a perfect cut right here because the top part of it, you should be able to see without any interference. And then I put little triangles on the top, you know, cause it's all spiky and whatnot. So what do you think? Not bad, right? Well, time to go up there and start putting my plan into action. Just give me a thousand years to kind of do this, or maybe I should be smart. Put a ladder. I mean, who's going to use a ladder? Am I right? I kind of wish I did this hours ago. Like, you, you have no idea. I'm going to hit that corner, aren't I? It's going to push me off. Bruh. <laughs> And then hello. So this is the backside. I want to finish up the walls before I have to figure out how to do it. Oh, and then I just went with a little bit of foundations and going around. A little foundation going around. Nothing too special. But it looks like it's kind of hanging off and it needs more support. And then I deleted these two foundations that were here and added in this for the seam to escape. Not that it's actual real, but anyway, but you know, if you don't treat it as it's real, then, you know, you really lose something in the uh, build, I think, which is why I put a lot of these pillars in here. Okay, here we go. H to hold. Perfect height. And we're going to go right here to the next one. I don't really have too many indicators in the floor. Oh, we could use that as an indicator. That would be too easy. Okay, that looks like it's in place. Let's click it. And let's see how it goes. Woohoo! And then, oh, oh! Oh, apparently I can go right through it. Really? Oh, I, I don't think it was built yet. <laughs> I was like, wait, this doesn't stop me? I could just fly off the edge? I'm already flying off the edge. Look what I built. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. Wonder if I should have something like here. Probably not. Oh, that's kind of cool. They look like little chains and everything going on there. So it kind of fits the build. All right. So, yeah. So, yeah, this will be the top floor. And then I'll just have to br uh, bring the walls around and everything. And... Yeah, that, that should that should do it for the walls on this side. And then for this area down here. Hmm. I might do what I did down here with the double ramps up at the top. I don't know. All right, let me do all the walls real quick and then I'll figure out what I'm going to do for back here. All right, I feel like this is the best way to showcase this off. There we go. <laughs> that looks cool. Now, let's see if I can make it to this wall without dying. Yay. And as for the back part, I didn't do anything really special. I just did this right here again. So double ramps going all the way down and then a nice little pillar on the back side. Uh, just some, uh, oh, what are these called? Barriers so you don't fall. Uh, I added in some frame pillars going all the way down for support. And then when I got to the bottom, I'm like, well, this doesn't fit right. So I had to build this like on the floor and then next to it to go across just so it would build correctly. Huge pain in the butt, but definitely came out good.
Now, I was going to think that I could put something back here crazy like to kind of close this off. But I feel like the open concept back here is not bad, especially with like all the steam and everything that's coming out. Just kind of feels like it would be a little bit open. And I didn't go all the way up to the top with this awning because I felt, where is it? That nice glass wall on the top works perfectly for this. And even though this is kind of like clipping on it, I feel like it's acceptable because of how it's clipped into it. It looks like it's cut into the glass. <laughs> but yeah, that is what we did on the backside. And I think it looks pretty good going all the way across. Not too bad at all. Ooh, oh, gorgeous out. Look at it. That looks beautiful. Okay, so the top is done. The inside is done-ish. Everything is kind of good. There's some final details I'm going to have to go over later. But I think it's about time that we revamp the power plant. Because, yeah, now it's time to start working on fuel generators. And the easiest and best way to start, like the other one, is going to be the bottom so of course i'm gonna take my materials i'm gonna make this coated and then i kind of did this one right here so i'm gonna kind of do this one over here and oh yeah this has the cut all the way around it so uh what if i kind of do just like a full thing on that Shoot. Yeah, I can't I can't have the dual color scheme like I did on the other one. So I'm going to have to have like a full cut. And then we're basically going to go around and around. And now here's the thing. So this is all connected together. So I have 150 some megawatts of power. So we're going to cut this. So that's running on its own and then this is oh my god that jump so we're only making about eight thousand total i took away the power augmenter over there because i wanted to see if i could actually get it cut into the base over here i'll probably figure out something and then for overneath overneath for underneath we're gonna go vertical and we're gonna kind of put some pillars in here Maybe right here. And then I got to figure out where in the middle to kind of hold them up so that they look like they're holding it together. All right, to add to the fun, I built this little shenaniganry. And uh, yeah, it was annoying, but it is also pretty cool. And I'm going to know what you're wondering. What the hell is this thing for? <laughs> I am glad you asked, voice in my head, and that's not Ada. Say hello to this little section right here. Guess what's going to fit perfectly right there? Go on, guess. <laughs> Alien Power Augmenter. So if I can aim this properly, something like that. Hmm. I like it. But I'm also coming in at an angle. If I'm looking straight forward, ooh. That does look pretty cool. Having that in there in the front. I just gotta find a way to make it kind of flush with it. Once I put like the walls up, I think it'll look a lot better. The only problem is I cannot power it over here because these things will kind of like flip in everywhere. <laughs> but I'm not really worried about that right now because I am nowhere close to being able to power this thing up to 30%. But that does not mean I cannot hook it up to power. No connection. All right, so as you can see, we have 144 megawatts of power perfectly lined up. And yeah, now all we got to do is hook this up to here. And what is the difference? Look at that jump. 
Boom. 158,950. Oh, <laughs> an extra 14.5 thousand megawatts of power. That is insane. Oh my God. With the comments that people have been leaving about how they've been, you know, mastering 15,000 megawatts of power to end game, and I'm just getting a boost of 15,000 megawatts. <laughs> I can run so many other people's bases together. And we're not even into like the actual like end game, really. Oh, uh, okay. I just went through that. That was weird. All right, it is time to start working on the next floor and then trying to figure out how I'm going to do the walls. Well, until we get to that part, let us continue coating the foundation and getting all these taken care of. All right, sorry to record this in the dead of night, but I decided to build pillars to hold this area up. I felt like it was too naked in here and I didn't have much room. So I went with the pipeline thing. <laughs> and I'll show you how I got that going on. I made two different types because last time someone pointed out that I forgot to make a reverse one of it because God forbid it's going the same direction, which aesthetically after someone pointed out, I was like, yeah, that makes perfect sense. So if you haven't seen my uh, short on how to do this, Basically, you just take a uh, go on architecture. You take a painted beam, go straight up, and then you take one of these pipeline wall supports, 45 degree angle. And then as you can see, you go up one, two, three, four. There we go. Boom, boom. You want to say while. And then when you connect it, you don't connect it here. You connect it up here. And then as you do each and every one of them, it gives you a nice, clean, tight look. But yeah, so that is what I did. And I put in some pipeline supports. Then I also went with the same pillars I had over there. But I need new pillars for the corner. Something a little bit beefier because that corner is going to be holding a lot of stress. Also, it's going to look a little weird because see how this one's like off a little bit and that one's off a little bit. So I want to build something like I want the corners to just look different. So what about this little guy? Now, the only thing I can say that I don't like about it is the air gap in between kind of right here. But with all the smoke this is producing, it's going to need some air in there. It's going to need some cooling system. So let us grab a half foundation. We're going to build it over here. And build this over here. And then let's get you. How about right here? So, yeah, that goes off a little bit. That goes off a little bit. Kind of. Uh, yeah, because it's thicker. So we'll just leave it like that. Let's see how it goes. OK, yeah, that does kind of look cool on the edge right there. <laughs> and then Come on. Okay, refill. There we go. And then we'll kind of put you there. We'll kind of put you there. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good. I gotta say, that looks nice. Now, sure, with these fuel gens, I could go for an open concept design. With all the walls over there, I kind of want it to go together, so I think we're going to have to wall it up. I think that's the best way to do that. Oh, and it's perfect timing. By the way, I just want to say this. I know I'm, we're this far into the video before I actually mention this. Sure, I am cutting out a lot of individual building, kind of skipping from section to section. Uh, that is because these blueprints, all I'm doing is building them and putting them in place. You have all the information if you pay attention and whatnot, and you can go back and look at it. None of this is going crazy. And when I build these blueprints, I could spend 20 minutes trying to build one blueprint and trying to figure out what looks right. And in the end, the end result is about the only thing that I can show you. 
<laughs> so I'm trying to I'm trying to cut everything because this is not a live stream and I want people to be able to see this and be like, you know what? Okay, that's what the end result is. I love it. All right. So with that being said, let me start playing with some walls and seeing if I can utilize any of the walls that we already have or if it might be better to build something else. Because sure, this is five right here and I I think that's five over there if I can get on the thing without dying. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, that's right, I moved it over. So I moved this over over here because it matched up perfectly with the middle. So I had to move that over, so that one's six. So not everything measures correctly. Hell, I don't even think the one over there is five, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, six. So, yeah, it kind of ruins my thing, but at the same time, like, uh, it needed to be done. All right, let's play with some walls. I have an amazing idea. Woo. You ready for this? I want to make chains. <laughs> I know, right? More chains? Yep. So... I'm thinking, what is it? Let's do a two meter one. And then probably on here and then probably on here. Uh, and then we're going to take a wall. And four meter one kind of works really good. Kind of want it right here on the precipice of both of them. All right, we'll do this. We'll do this and we'll do this. Get rid of that one, that one. And then I think the easiest way would just kind of be like... H to hold, because it was like, yeah, because it's like saying, oh, you're in the way. So, the reason I'm going to do this is... Come on, can I just like kind of zoop it down now? Oh, there we go, yay! Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to get rid of this one right here. And then maybe you up here. And then we're gonna grab a regular wall and we're gonna put the regular wall on here. So, logistics, that's what it is. That's what it is, pipeline wall hole. So if I put one here, and I put one here, uh, no, no. How about one right here and one right here? So now it's going to kind of come together. And then... Two, three, four... Get rid of these two. And then I need a pipe. Pipe. Have you auto. You can come down here. You can come over here. And then architecture, we're gonna have a, a beam. And we're gonna make this diagonal. There we go. Gonna go switch over to pipeline support. H to hold. Hit left, there we go. And then, yep, there we go. Voila. There we go. So that will get us the initial kind of hold on it. So if I get rid of this, I'll probably get rid of this. No, it's, uh, I hate this. Cause then I got to do these first. You know, that's the only thing. So it's like, so I got here one, two, that's the second one. One, two, there we go. And then that gives me the spot in between the right height. And then I can get rid of this one. So what that does is now it hooks it up to there and then we'll have the chain going all the way down into the ground and then I'll probably just grab a regular foundation and kind of find a way to like just have it right here or something like that. And then I'm going to do another three ones so I have chains just like hanging on everywhere. I think that'll look really cool. <laughs> oh man, this build is it's uh it's getting a lot of chains going on here. See? Now that is what I'm talking about. Oh, that looks so freaking cool. 
It also looks like it's pulling this out of the wall uh, just to leave space, but I don't know. It just, it looks so freaking cool. Uh, speaking of looking cool, I think I have decided on how I'm going to do the walls. So we're just going to get a little bit higher and higher and higher. Woo! All right, so what I did is I'm going to take the half foundation and we're going to put this as a two meter one. And we are going to zoop this across. We're zooping, baby. We're zooping. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the ceiling. Hold control so I can actually get it in the right spot. Zoop it across. And then I decided to make some wonderful, interesting blueprints. Blueprint number one is in the shape of an X. I call it fuel wall shape X. I used the wrong size. Crap. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I apologize. That that was my my bait, my B. I have three wall foundations. First, we start off with this one. This is the X shape. Okay, fits perfectly, gets a nice little X going, looks amazing. Then all I got to do is I got to put a wall on these four sections like here and then grab the hexagon, bestagon or honeycomb. Yeah, honeycomb, not the hexagon and bam, that one's finished. Then I have something for this middle one, but not here. Probably the higher one because there's no room. And then we come over here to this one. This one is five. So what I do for this one is this lovely one. Press H to hold, which is the eye shape. Because it's perfectly an eye. <laughs> then I come over here and this one right here. Oops, I'm, 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 I'm falling here. I'm, I'm, I told you I'm not a professional. I know what you're doing. This one goes back into the X shape. All right. H to hold. Make sure it's in the middle. And bam. And then I can just... Well, technically, I could just zoom this up, grab this one, hold control, and then just switch out these four. That also works fine. Boom. And then this center piece right here. I think this floor, the bottom floor, I might just leave open because this thing kind of sticks out. Unless I want to move it forward, which I could move it forward. Now nah, I'm just going to leave it right there. So, yeah. And then I do the basically the other ones on the other walls. Then when we get up to this level right mirror, I'll show you this one right here that I decided to make. Say hello to the K shape. <laughs> so what I did was this goes over here and then I flip it. And then this one goes over here. And see how it looks like a little K. <laughs> and there we go, because this one is eight. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, this one's eight. So it's nice and big. So I got a nice big wall for this one. So yeah, I'm just going to basically put up the walls, put up and shut up and get all this stuff basically walled up. F figure out that. Finish out the floors and continue to add spirals. Oh, this shouldn't take forever. By the way, thank God I updated my depot and everything. Because I've been going through product so fast and it's been replenishing even faster, which is so nice. All right. Just got a couple more levels to fill on the top. Just thought I'd come in to show you a little bit of progress and how annoying it is that I'm setting this up. Also, I decided to showcase a little bit of walkability. I decided to put in some stairs. So that they can come around, we can go down, you know, peasant trotting and whatnot. But let's say, like, I need to go in here and, you know, fix something and I don't have all these open windows and whatnot. <laughs> so, yeah, we added in stairs to go all the way down. I just gotta figure out, besides this giant rock right here, how to, like, do I just, like, get in the ground, like, here? And then go down. So let's see, like this. And then we'll take you and yeah, it's like that. There we go. Something like this. Sort of like a maintenance entrance. A nice quick cut and there you go. We got walls for days. Not going to figure out what to do for this roof part. 
probably just zoop this across over here. Might end up playing with the design that I have for these pipes. Hmm. Definitely need to figure out what to do for this roof and... I like the idea of having the chains and everything. I wonder if I can do that for something else. Also this back area. Check this out. So I have this here and I'm wondering should I put in windows back here or leave it open? I could do the awning thing like I did over there. But this would be one massive one. I don't know. But you know what would be really cool? I stopped, by the way, I stopped these from going all the way up to the top. I don't know if I should, because there's no middle level like there is for the other one. But I was kind of thinking, what should I do on the side here? Kind of thinking maybe like chains going into the ground like I have over there. What if I could do something vertical though? Kind of like what I had back there, and then like as soon as it comes to a point, then it comes out. But wait, if so, this one comes out here. Oh, it might actually go into this thing. <laughs> oh, that would be so stupid. I love it. You know, I almost forgot that I needed to record some of this stuff. <laughs> I'm getting too into these builds. Take a look. Oh wait, might be able to go a little bit further out. There we go. Come on. There we go. Vertical chains. That looks so cool. And then I also got them. On the front. Oh. <laughs> and the side. I put with a blueprint on this and it works really well. Basically attaches from right here and just goes down to the next one. And I can put it right underneath and just kind of go, go, go. I love it. Looks really cool. Whee! <laughs> it does kind of add something extra to it. Now, I was going to do like a vertical out, but uh, having it just go straight into the ground is also not a bad idea. Might have to get rid of that circle thing thing and figure out something for the front I, I oh oh that's right oh I thought of something I thought of something and then has something like this and going straight up I kind of got get rid of those pipes but I could do something with pipes seeing as a lot of this is with pipes so yeah so what if we like go vertical with this but first I'm going to have to and then we'll figure out something is that the right height I wanna oh no 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 oh no alright what I wanna do I'm gonna put you up to then I'm going to vertically zoop and the reason for this is I want to get it the same height as this wall. And then I can come down. Go down to go down to and go down to something like that. Oh, and then you know what? Let's see. What is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. So if I do it six. That'll match the same height as this, and then I'll go into foundations, and then we'll vertical that down, and that'll give us a nice, rounded, unique shape for the front, and then if you pick pipeline floor holes, and you put it up against a foundation, you'll get this little thing. Come in. Hmm. And then... Aw, it doesn't give me the center piece. What if I get rid of all that stuff out of the way? Ah, there we go. And then I'll put you back. 
All right, let me play with this and see if I can come up with something really cool. All right, I gotta say, sometimes things just look crispy as hell in the dark, especially when you're dealing with lights. Ooh, <laughs> oh, this looks so freaking cool. Let's see if we can get closer. I can show you what I came up with the pipes. And I might actually have to... There we go. We'll make ourselves a little platform. There we go. Ta-da! Yeah, I went crazy with the little pipe design in the front. I really wanted something that looked like a giant like power battery or whatever oh and then this is really cool having the lights in between the uh hyper tubes because they're see-through and whatnot oh this was so cool i like it i love it it's a real good like focal point for the front of the base it really showcases like liquid fuel power basically <laughs> oh that is so freaking nice especially especially with the chains oh by the way to do something like this huge pain in the butt huge pain in the butt um yeah i probably shouldn't have deleted that platform that was not uh good of me all right Okay, so here's how it goes. Uh, when you're building something like this, you want to build in horizontal and vertical mode. You hold R, you can go over to here, okay? So going underneath on one of these things and going up like that really gets you kind of like your ideal like space. Then you want to make sure when you're building some of this stuff, if you want this little ring in the center, you have to make sure nothing's in the way. So these little inner parts right here uh when you're doing a curved surface uh how's the best way to put it so if you're on a flat surface everything goes fine but if you try to build on like a curved surface let's see if i can get this right here um grab that thing as you see when you build it it goes in and out okay so what you have to do is, when you're building it, you have to go as far in as you can. So see how it goes like the next one? And right there, that's like the first goes in. If you do it from the other side, you kind of like are too far out. So you have to make sure it goes in as far as possible, just to get that little ringlet on the front. And then, to get that little ringlet on the front as well, I had to go into architecture, painted beams, aim a painted beam at the center of this center right here, and then have this one come out towards me. Oh, come on. Like such as. And then it went up. Actually, I went to this one right here. Put it on there, hold it, and then push it back and whatnot. It was a pain in the butt to get all this stuff. But the results of it are so worth it. Because that looks freaking phenomenal. I wish it was daytime. You know what? We're going to sit here until it becomes daytime. So you can see it during the day. Ooh. <laughs> yep. With the when the lights are turned on, it does look so much better. <laughs> All right. So are we done? Is, 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 is that it? Is that everything? Well, I would love to say it is. I even deleted this over here in preparation for saying it's done. But then there is a problem. And as most problems, it involves redesigning. No, not because this needs to be turbo fuel. Yes, I understand. I've heard the comments. Turbo fuel for life. Let's go, bro. Yep, yep, yep. No, we're going to go rocket fuel. But that's later. See how I have this curve into the building over here well as some people pointed out i should 
embrace the curve going all the way up. And if, if I was to embrace the curve going all the way up, that means I need a cool design for this curve. So, this is going to be a huge pain in the butt. <laughs> I need to delete all the way up, delete some of these fuel gens all the way up, redistribute the power all the way up on both sides in the snow. Like, yeah, back in my day, this, this, oh God. See, redesigning like this is not fun. I mean, it's a blast. I'm having a blast. I don't care. Um, but yeah, redesigning, a lot of people get really, you know, um, they don't like it. I don't like it. I thought I was done, but I also have a really cool idea. And the first step in the idea is to delete the bejesus out of this. So let me fill up my pockets with a bunch of stuff. <laughs> And get rid of all this so I can do... Oh my god, this is going to be such a pain in the butt. But when it's done, it's going to look insane. Have an amazing idea. Okay, time to test this out. So, here's my plan. See this nice little curve here? I want to see if I can do like a ramp going down it. Okay, so we're going to delete this. We're going to delete this. This will probably bring back. I do like it. So... Yeah, uh, here's what I'm thinking. I made a custom blueprint. Let's get rid of this one. Go to blueprints and I call this one chain link. Let's see if I... Okay. This might be more difficult than I thought. Uh, all right, and then we'll push this over. Okay, build my pretty build. <laughs> so here's what I'm thinking. If I could have something like this and then, okay, then, okay, that would, this one, but how would I do the other ones? See, I want one at like a 45 degree angle. So that would be, oh, that's a full thing. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this. Put it here. Okay, okay, okay. Then I can do this one at a 45 degree angle, but zoop it over. Delete this. Delete this. Grab that and H to hold. And sure that's in place and boom oh that is going to be difficult and here's the thing so that's one let's three even if i didn't have this snapping point in here yeah there's no way i would be able to fit multiple in here Rid of you. Oh, no, 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 no. I accidentally did the blueprint. <laughs> Building hard. All right. I'm going to build this all up and it's going to look amazing. Hopefully. Construct, deconstruct. I got to say, it's it's got to be done now. This centerpiece looks freaking amazing. All the walls, everything just works so well together okay but now we get to the main course we get to the huge pain in the butt <laughs> chains four days oh, <laughs> oh I'm out of power Oof. That is awesome. All right, do I have the little thingamajigger in here? Ah, medical inhaler. Um, let's get rid of you for a second. I don't even think I have any noblesks. 
Ah, victory puff. Perfect. So I went with the chains and the nice little like corkscrew that kind of holds it in. I could have done like a center chain that kind of holds it going all the way down, but I'm like, do I really want to? Now, I guess I could like attach some of these things together, but I figure I'm just going to leave it like down. It looks good. It's it's enough. And we went with the unpainted because although I could have added a nice finish to it or even a gold one. Chrome doesn't look too far off. Anyway, I figure might as well leave it nice silver chains. That's good. It's got plenty of other colors in it. Mostly just, you know, gold and copper. But it looks freaking phenomenal. And it was a perfect cut to go all the way up. Oh, God. Huge pain in the butt. Now, what about the other side? Because the other side had the rock. Now, if any of y'all thought this was going to be easy, it was not. And I'll get to that in a second. But we must check with the rock. Dwayne, sir, how do you feel? <laughs> Look at this. I have it into the rock facing connected to it. Isn't that nuts? The rest goes up like normal, but this one, oh my God. There we go. Yeah, so I decided that it was just going to kind of cut into it. Yeah, I, I figure it just, it just kind of looks cool like that with it, you know, cut into the rock. Ah, uh, so that takes care of this whole thing. Oh, even did a little bit of the top. If we can... Oh, no. I forgot to add these columns going all the way up. Ah, well. That won't take too long to do in, like, the editing process Everything after everything is done. But first, let me show you. Oh. Boom. There we go. I finished off the backside here. Even got this nice radar tower in the center. I don't even know if I said I showed it or not. And then I kept the open concept for down here to just look off and look into the, the gloriousness of all that. There's no like control room, but I figure because it's fuel power, it doesn't need one. But when we get to the uranium, oh boy, that is going to be a beauty. So, question is, how did I come about this wonderful monstrosity? Well, I blueprinted it. From one piece to the next, and then had to figure out how to rotate and get it into position for every single one. Huge pain in the butt. Easiest way to do it is you take a foundation, and then you take a blueprint, and you have the blueprint up next to the foundation. And now if you have to move it, you can hold and kind of like, you know, go in, rotate, you know, move it however you need to, just so it gets into place. So that wasn't a big issue. And then it was just basically the time into rotating it all around. As for the blueprints, well, <sighs> I decided to go into foundations and grab myself a double ramp. This is how I figured out the height. So I went with this one right here, the one above it. And then I looked at it, I'm like, okay, so three high. And then I went into walls. Took me a four meter tile one because that would give us the perfect angle on it. And then if you've ever seen my shorts on how to make chains, pretty cool, pretty snazzy. Uh, now, now that it's done, ish there's probably like a few little details i want to fix like missing this concrete pillar on the other side uh i want to tell you how i feel about it i love it <laughs> i love the way that this came out i wish i could just put in like uh, creative mode and then fly around but i don't want to save anything in creative mode and sure i went in creative mode before but i'm not gonna do it again so with the way everything looks, and granted I didn't turn Lumos on, so you guys can actually see how well it looks, but you know what? Actually, I think it's the time. 
Option, video, scroll all the way down. And we're gonna turn this on. No, we're gonna turn this on to high. And... It is now a horror game in here. <laughs> I love it. I love the fact that it's not all lit up. I love the fact that it's kind of like you can you can get it. Oh, whoa! I can hear the bugs underneath. That is so cool. You get the nice fog light and everything. It is definitely creepy. Oh, that is so cool. Let's go up a few levels. All right. Now, if I look off to here, that looks so cool. Uh, and then I can go up. And then, yeah, it kind of gives that effect all the way around. A little bit lighter up top. Smoke is now getting a nice green glow to it, which is cool. Yeah, a little bit brighter now. Ooh, a little bit brighter now. Ooh. Natural light coming in from all the glass. And yes, a little bit of natural light and all that. Overall, I think it looks fantastic. <sighs> Glorious. Oh. Wait, so the sun's over there. Which means I should be getting a very good... Oh. <laughs> yep. That is so cool with it. I think it looks way better with the, the stuff on there, but you can't see the detail. Like, you can't tell what's going on in there, but whatever. It looks phenomenal. I love it. Smoke on the top. <laughs> so cool. So how I feel about it. A plus, A plus, uh, in terms of other designers, I have seen two other people build a power plant that is massive like this, but of course they went for turbo fuel, which is their prerogative. Don't blame them whatsoever. This is going to end up being switched into uh, rocket fuel. Once I unlock all that, cause I'll, I'm going to gut all of these, uh, Fuel gens, that's the plan. I'm gonna gut all the fuel gens, turn it into rocket fuel, and then maybe go above with the fuel generator or something? I haven't decided exactly where they go. Or I could just drone them out somewhere and have like power plants all across the world. That would be super cool. But for right now, I'm gonna leave this as is. It's gonna be my power plant. 150 something megawatts of power, because I put in the uh fuel augmenter but i gotta say there is two other people that did um like fuel gen power plants and they did turbo fuel and like it was i am kibitz who had the giant fishbowl thing in it which kind of looked cool the way he had all his stuff very walkable and everything i like it i like what he did but it's also not my like i would add more design to it and then i look at like it's bits and it's bits all oh, he freaking nailed it with his i actually would love to see a more in-depth kind of like around it but from what i saw oh i like the way that he did the interior better than i have mine which is like one of the highest compliments i can give him for that his was amazing kibitz was definitely cool and unique also entertaining as hell so <laughs> some of the ones that I actually watched. So now you gotta get an idea. I've seen some people build some stuff before. I know about the rocket fuel. I know about the uh, turbo fuel, but uh, I want to go my own way. But that's gonna be it. I hope you enjoyed the designing. I hope you enjoyed what we were able to accomplish. This is freaking phenomenal. I don't know if I could, should. I don't know if I should add anything else to it. But I think that's it. It's been long enough. I don't know how long this video is. I'm just doing the recording, not the editing, but <laughs> not until later anyway. Anyway, I wish you all the best of luck, and I would love to see what kind of stuff you come up with on yourself. Also, if you want to see this, this will be available in the Discord. 
as a before and after so you can kind of see like the base of it versus the decoration of it oh and we never did check out that with the lighting oh that looks glorious all right bits your build aside i do like what you did but i do like this thing that i have on here i don't know why it's all steampunky kind of looks like a giant battery cell <laughs> but yeah that's gonna be it for me today and in the next episode we're gonna start work on a main base a base of operation <laughs> so if you like what you see don't forget to like comment and subscribe this has been fun. <laughs>